Oh, wheat. Nice catch. Cheers. that beautiful plate good portion of that was wild harvested today wow look at those black clouds moving in We've got our approximately 25 to 30 pounds of dried here. We've are they're finished drying, but we're gonna flash them with the extra heat. Get them up to about between 130 and 175 with the wood stove here, and this is a pretty valuable tray of mushrooms right here. More than you'd think. About 225 pounds of fresh went into this. Bobby went out fishing while we were working on these racks to dry our mushrooms. And look what he got! Two dinner. <laughs> Beautiful rainbow trout. Ooh, look at yeah. those. Nice. That'll be awesome for dinner. Right Woo! Well done. So tonight we figured we should finally eat some morels on film. So we're gonna fry up a nice big batch of butter and garlic, and then to go along with those, we'll have Robbie's two beautiful rainbow trout and we'll season them with lemon and spruce tips. Spruce tips are another product we, we've harvested in the past and uh, they have a nice lemony flavor used in lots of different stuff. So here's a spruce tree with lots of tips growing. And you want to get them the right maturity. So this is getting a little old, that's still, still uh, harvestable, but this is ideal. And you don't want to take the top ones. You just want to, or the, or the leader, the center. You want to just take these laterals. So we'll take a few of these and just skim through the tree. Don't hammer it. It'll actually help it make the leaders of the branches stronger. So you're not doing any damage if you do it correctly. Helps the tree grow strong instead of weak and fast. Wonderful product. So we've got our pile of spruce tips. And then under here, I'm just soaking our morels. These are fresh, but I like to soak them just to get any um, ash or debris will blow up to the top and then I'll get rid of that water before I cook them and then over here we got our beautiful rainbow trout be a great meal tonight this is how I like to prep morels I uh, take the big ones and I cut them into these circular little steaks about a quarter inch or so and take the little ones and I just half them these ones are all the naturals and we picked two beautiful grays Look at these, they're so much nicer. Beautiful. 
Look at those. So, when you compare the two, this is much nicer. It's denser. It's really like this is brittle. It could break off in pieces. But this is like solid. Right? Much better quality. Calamari. Look at those. Compared to that. So good. It's rainbow trout. taken some of the excess garlic morel infused liquid into a cup. I'm going to pour that into the fish. These morels are done now. They've got uh, salt, black pepper, garlic powder. Look at that. Beautiful plate. Good portion of that was wild harvested today. Heading to town today, we're gonna go resupply, get our laundry done, because we're sick of wearing the same clothes every day, and we're dirty. And get set up for another couple weeks of hard picking. Gotta get it done, it's gotta be done. Well, had a big day in town, now we're good for a couple of weeks. And then I went and got a cord or so of nice old growth Douglas fir firewood. There's a big down log. And that's gonna help a lot because we just been too busy and haven't uh, been able to find good dry firewood. So we've been using the fire hardened trees and they, they burn green. They don't make very many coals. So now we can get the proper coal bed going with this new firewood. That'll make things a lot easier for us. So here's the nice big rounds of Douglas fir we got today. Beautiful wood, bone dry. Made a bunch of kindling. And split a whole bunch. And this is wool. And this is coal. So that'll last us a couple of weeks. We might be drying a lot more mushrooms soon. And we'll need that wood stove going all the time. The kindling we split. 
three full lugs. Wow, nice catch. Cheers. It's a beautiful fish. I guess. <laughs> I'm going to check this ground for morels while they cast a few more lines. Oh, nice good crossing here. That, that'll do. These are still pretty good. Nice. We'll load up here while they fish. They'll be stoked. What I really want to see is on the other side of the lake, just over there, there were some nice clusters we saw a couple weeks ago. And I want to see how they've grown and if there's fire morales coming up in that area because it was some of the earlier mushrooms we found this season. Ah, that is a blondie. That's a fire morale. Fire morale. Nice. Good. Good to see that. That? Yeah. Now you got some nice bait too. That's a nice size gray. Oh, double snip. Beauties. Sweet. I've come to the other side of the lake with Alec and we're just going to check some old ground. Walking over here I see somebody's kind of picked through it but it was a few days back and they missed a hell of a lot and left a hell of a lot of babies that have now grown. There's the guys, Alex and Robbie, way over there with the truck. These are still nice. And they're uh, pretty dry, but that's what we want, because we're gonna continue drying them.
So my bucket's already full here. And then just over here, there's some nice, nice big ones. And then those are naturals. You come around the tree and gray fire marls. There's more than we could carry this time. So all we picked was from there to there on the other side of the lake. And we just got this. Perfect. Look at these. 